Hey, good morning, guys. Just coming to you with my daily vlog here in the form of this video. And we see my wallpaper here, which is a pretty cool shot. It is a picture of the total lunar eclipse of April 4th, 2015 in Utah. Is what you're seeing there. And we had a lunar eclipse last night as well. I don't know if anybody got a good picture of it. Feel free to share in the comments. Meanwhile, let's jump into my blog here. Today we are talking about Pope St. Gregory VII. Let Hildebrand be Pope. Let's see, let me center it a little bit better here. Today in the book Ancylo and Intero, we read about Pope St. Gregory VII. He was a great reformer and began working to restore the church to holiness even before he was Pope. He was an advisor to the popes before him. When his, success, his successor passed away, the people recognized his ability and his holiness and reportedly cried out, Let Hildebrand be Pope. His name was Hildebrand before he became Pope and chose the name Gregory. He worked hard for reform in the church, trying to restore relations with the Eastern Church and cleaning up the corruption in the Roman Church leadership. He faced opposition from kings, though, and ended up his pontif pontificate in exile. You can read more about him here. If you click on this link, it does take us to the Franciscan Media site. So let's listen to what they have to say about him today. Let me turn down the volume so they don't yell at us. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for May 23rd. Today we celebrate Pope Saint Gregory VII. Three evils plagued the church in the 10th and early 11th centuries. First was simony, the buying and selling of sacred offices and things. Second, the unlawful marriage of the clergy. And third, so-called lay investiture, whereby kings and nobles controlled the appointment of church officials. In 1049, Pope Leo IX brought a young monk named Hildebrand to Rome to be his counselor. Hildebrand directed his reformer's attention to all the problems facing the church. Eventually, he became Pope himself, taking the name Gregory VII. For 12 years, Gregory was a busy pope, fiercely resisting any attack on the liberty of the church. For this he suffered and finally died in exile in 1085. Thirty years later, the church won its struggle against lay investiture. The Gregorian reform, a milestone in the history of the church, was named after this man who tried to free the papacy and the whole church from undue control by civil rulers. Gregory reasserted the unity of the church based on Christ, and expressed in the successors of St. Peter. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintoftheday.org. From Franciscan Media, this has been Saint of the Day. It's funny how we go from popular to unpopular and back and forth when we follow Jesus. Jesus himself was lauded as the coming Messiah. One day, they laid down palm branches and cried out, um, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and condemned to die in the, in the following week. And our current Pope enjoyed great popularity when he first became Pope, but many have now turned against him. Fortunately, God looks at our hearts. God, thanks for the example of this courageous Pope who worked hard for your church. Pope St. Gregory VII, pray for us. And you guys have a great day.